As your child begins to move up the ranks of youth sports, your motto and your athlete's motto should be to treat others as you want to be treated. Operating under this golden rule helps you to avoid potentially ugly situations that are all too common today. When interacting with coaches, remember that they are largely volunteers, people just like you and me who are donating their time and want children to have a positive experience. It's hard to understand sometimes why parents find it so difficult to be positive and just enjoy youth sports for what it is, the opportunity for kids to have fun, be with their friends, learn new skills along the way. Always be that positive voice even when most are choosing to be the opposite. Being the voice of calmness, even if you're the only one, you will temper a dynamic seen too often in youth and high school sports, the sideline gang mentality. This is where people huddle together and pick apart or undermine the coaching. Parents seem to feed off one another, convincing themselves that there's a problem or deficiency surrounding the team. That negative energy is the fastest way to suck all the fun out of the experience for your kids. Honestly, if you feel you can make a positive impact with the players, then volunteer your time. If you can't for whatever reason, then you need to be supportive of the coaches who've made that commitment to the team. From time to time, there may be some coaches who are problematic and those situations need to be addressed through the proper channels. But always ask yourself the hard questions before pointing the finger at somebody else. So do you remember when Mike and Jake were about 10 or 11 and playing Pop Warner? And uh, there was a dad that constantly sat in the stands and berated the coaches about the job they were doing and the plays they were calling. And yeah, and listen, I know, I remember that because I was one of the coaches, coaches out there. Right. Usually, so you I know. was sitting in the stands alone, <laughs> yeah. and I'd listen to him every week. And finally, I had had enough. You know, he was ruining it for the kids. He was ruining it for the coaches. He was ruining it for the parents who were sitting with him. So I said to him, you know, if you know so much, well, why don't you volunteer your time? Well, it got ugly. And it was all directed to me. Yeah. It turned into a like shouting match at the middle of the field, which I never was looking for it to be. But that's the thing that happens sometimes. It, it, it goes back to our, our, our buddy Herm Edwards a lot, who, who, who I love, who you know, works with me at, at ESPN and, and played football for years. But about the society today, be careful hitting send. Basically, you type out that tweet or that text and you hit send, it's out there. And, and this is the kind of the right. verbal thing. Or if you go over in the heat of the moment without like taking a deep breath and, That's it. and letting some time pass and you know talking to your child about the situation, you can put yourself in a situation that you end up regretting. You with, see with, that it's it wasn't the way to behave, it wasn't the way to go about it. Well, think about it too. If you hit that verbal send and it goes bad, who gets hurt the most? Your your, children, your kid. Sure. Your kid out there who you think you're helping by yelling at somebody else or the coach your kid is the one being hurt the most. So that doesn't mean you can't have a conversation with the coach or another parent or how, whatever the conversation right. you wanna have is, that's fine. But there's procedures and there's ways to do that. Still get your point across because all you're doing is making your, you're, you're out there for your kid. And then now you're making your kid's experience worse by getting, by your own agenda out there. So that's, that's one of those, that's a tough one at times, I get it, but man, Take a deep breath, as Chris said, before you hit that, that verbal send button, because once you hit that send button, man, it's tough to come back.